Hey loves, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So in today's video, I'll be sharing like four advices or tips or lessons for anyone who is planning to come study in the Philippines. Okay, so you can take it as an advice, you can take it as a tip, you can take it as a lesson, whatever you want to take it as, that's okay. So I clocked nine years in the Philippines last month June and I was thinking about like the content to create for you all and the idea just popped in for you all this video. Okay, what about you share um four lessons or you give four advices to anyone who is planning to relocate to the Philippines for their studies. And I believe that this video would be very beneficial to my African brothers and sisters who are planning to move here, specifically Nigerians, because I'm a Nigerian and my experience is from the view of someone who's coming from Nigeria and someone who is living in the Philippines as a Nigerian. Okay, so stay put, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like this video, don't forget to share this video to your family, your friends, or anyone you know that is planning to move in here, or even yourself if you are the one who is planning to move in here. Okay, so straight up, my number one would be research. Yeah, do your research. So before you move into the Philippines for your studies, be sure that you do the necessary research that are needed. In my case, I wasn't able to like research about the Philippines because I was in a, should I say VIP, a mode whereby my family were the one who was going to Abuja, going to Lagos, in all of the processes. So I didn't do nothing. I didn't go to like the immigration on my own to process my papers. If I'm going to go to the immigration and embassy, I have my aunt with me. I have like family members with me, and they were like the ones in the forefront who were processing everything. So point being, I didn't get the chance to like research. If the day I was told I was going to go to the Philippines, so the first time I ever heard that, they, oh. There's a country known as Philippines. Get it. So my point being that you have to research, make your research on okay, what's the country you're really going to? Okay, Philippines good. What what are, what are people like? The place you plan to stay. What's the place like? I have a friend, Olive. I don't know if you get to watch this video, but remember Olive telling me before she moved to the Philippines that you know she was doing a lot of research. We also had a video together right here. You can go check it out. But she mentioned that she did a lot of research. Like she did a lot of research going to the place she was going to stay because she had you know uh, booked a place or rented a place from Nigeria before she even knew. She knew the street. She knew everything. Like she did good research. So please make sure you do your research that is really going to help you and to keep you on the right path it should also reduce your expectation because if you're thinking that oh the philippines for example has snow just like how a lot of us we, we come to the philippines and we feel like oh well we're expecting snow because we didn't do enough research so research saying that our philippines does not have snow we do not have snow here do your research that okay the weather here is hot it's not like cold. Don't expect a cold weather. Do your research to know that, oh, the place, some places you might live in are not as touch as you are expected. So please do research. Do an in-depth research. Don't just leave um, the, the, the research for your family members or friends or ability to do for you. Make sure you do it. In my case, I also wasn't able to do a proper research because um, I had no phone then. I really had no phone then. But now we, we have phones and aside just having phones, like all of these informations you need are on YouTube for free, on Facebook, are everywhere. If you check it now on YouTube and type um, Nigeria's living in the Philippines, so Africa's living in the Philippines, studying the Philippines, you'll see a lot of video coming for you. So all these informations are right on your doorstep. All you have to do is just seek and find. When you seek, you find it. So please do a lot of research before you move with far to the Philippines so you stop expecting too much. So your expectations will not be cut short. Okay, so that's number one. Do your research. Number two is be sure be sure that you know why you're coming here if you're coming here for studies be sure you know how much your school costs for the course you plan to take be sure you know the location of your school be sure you know how everything works make sure that you are aware that you're in the philippines to be wear school uniform so from monday to fridays uh, in some schools there's uniform straight down but for some other schools wear uniforms let's say monday tuesday wednesday thursday and then on fridays you're allowed to wear my school calls is civilian, but you can just dress wherever you want to dress fast, it's decent. Aware 
that we wear school uniform here in the Philippines, no matter your age. But some people are kind of like have exemptions, which is very rare. Maybe you're very, very, very old and kind of like talk to the school principals and the rest, they might exempt you from wearing school uniform. But if you're like my age, you're young and old, you have no good reason, shall just be sure that you're going to act the Philippines, you wear school uniform when you are in college. You wear school uniform because I've had a lot of people, you know, um, talk about this or in a negative way that, or like, why are we wearing school uniform? Even when I started wearing school uniform in my colleges, I was like, ah uh ah, -uh, ah uh ah, -uh, I wear school uniform in high school, wear school uniform in college. That's not, that's not the plan. We didn't sign up for things. But when you set your heart and your mind on these little things that might seem as nothing, when you come here, you're not expecting to much. You're already like grounded. Ah, okay, okay, I know happiness already mentioned. So, so in summary, be sure you know why you're here, okay? You're coming to study good and fine. What's the cost you're coming for? How much is the tuition fee of the course you plan to take? Right, all of those questions. Oh, you're wearing school uniform. Make sure you have detailed information about these little things, especially about your school. What's your school like? What's a student like? Ask questions. Are the foreigners in your school? How do they treat foreigners? Do foreigners pay a foreigner's fee? How much is a visa fee? All of those informations are needed, which is why number two is literally connected to number one, which is research, because all of this covers research. Okay? The third one I would like to say is this, and this is this is very important. This is very, very important. Don't don't neglect this one. Don't ignore this one because I'm speaking from experience. Number three is have a skill. Make sure that Nigerians or Africans call it handwork. Make sure you, you know how to do something with your hands. It could be cooking, it could be making hair, it could be sewing, it could be baking. Make sure these your hands and not I do. You know how to do something with your hands. You already learned the skill from Nigeria. So if you're planning to move here to study, I would advise you that you start learning. If you don't have any um, handwork, you start learning how to make hair, how to cook, how to... And now, this is an exemption for those who their parents are well to do. And your parents are ready to sponsor your um, schooling and everything from your day one to you go back home. Is an exemption for you but for those who their parents are not really well to do you're under the grace of god you're coming under the grace of god you're coming under prayers and faith please i beg you make sure you have something you can do make sure you know how to do something with your hands because in the philippines foreigners are not allowed to work when you are a student. So as a student, you cannot work, you cannot have a working visa and have a student visa. The few people that maybe have gone through this path is favor, and that favor is rare. Of course, you can have the favor, but the favor is very, very rare. So make sure you know how to do something with your hands. You could probably find jobs online, which is a good thing. And now for you to even find jobs online, you have to even make sure that you have the skill set that are needed. For example, copywriting, project management, accounting, the rest. So just make sure you know how to do something because it's hard. It is hard. It is really, really hard. It is really, really hard. Even seeing now that the exchange rate is just crazy. I think it's crazy that something, one person is over, um, that is something there, and that's high compared to when I when I moved in year 2015, and one person was it was equivalent to I think five naira or seven naira. Now look at it, look at look at look at the job. And when you get here, you realize that it's not even everything you want to start asking your parents to send you money for. I'm telling you, because by the time they convert the rate and it like, and so this is an advice from a big sister to you. I'm telling you, if you don't know how to do something, it's going to be very hard for you. At least, if you know how to cook, if you know how to make hair, if you know how to sew, if you know how to do videography, it can sustain you on the days that your parents are probably like trying to gather money to send for you. Of course, I pray that God is going to bless your family members and will sponsor you more. It's best for you to have something to do. So you don't have to call them every time when we send money for back, when we send money for this. Please.
In my case, I know how to cook. One of the things I know how to cook with my hands. God has blessed me with this cooking. God has used cooking to sustain me. God has used cooking to pay my bills, to pay my school debts and everything. I'm telling you, having a skill is really going to help you. Number four, don't forget where you're coming from. Do not. But a lot of people have come here and they've forgotten where they're coming from. They forgot, they've forgotten that ah, they are like the first child out of eight kids. They are the they are the second child out of seven kids. Or their parents are not work to do. Uh, or their parents are struggling. Their parents are their parents sent them here to really study, to make them proud, to be the difference in family. A lot of people have forgotten where they're coming from. So don't be one of them. Don't come here and then you say, Oh, now I have freedom. I have freedom to dress how I want to dress. I have freedom to go wherever I want to go. I have freedom to fornicate. I have freedom to, to, to have so many boyfriends or to have so many girlfriends or to just miss me. Don't do that. Don't do not. That's why the Bible says that evil communication corrupts good manners. So now it even goes back to make sure you have the right people around you. If you know when you come here, they'll discover this boy that is. Their life is not mm, run, chapa, run for your life. So be sure you know where you're coming from. Never forget. That's one thing that my mom would always tell me when I come. 2015, I remember my some of my family members would be like, ah, happy. Don't forget where you're coming from. Do not forget where you're coming from. Don't forget where you're coming from. Fight for your destiny. Fight for your life. No matter how hard things are, fight for your life. So don't forget where you're coming from. Don't lose God. Don't uh, let the prayers of your parents go for a waste. Don't let the money that they will be struggling to send you. They will not struggle with Jesus, but don't let that go for a waste. But if you're already in the Philippines and you're watching this video, and you've gone, you've, 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 you've taken the wrong part, this is a time for you to take a new turn back. Take a new turn back. Take a new turn back to change. Take a new turn back to turn to a new way, to be a new person, to be a better person. Take a new turn back to take your studies seriously. Don't. Don't joke with your studies because even here in the Philippines, like you don't joke with studies. Or, of course, some students do, but if you know you want to finish well, you have to make sure that you don't miss classes because two or five abscesses have they even been before but cause for a dropout or drop drop out right or if you feel a cause they will drop you out and then you being a foreigner you already have like your record in immigration and the immigration notice that you're having bad grades each semester they can deport you really or put your name on blacklist or whatnot but it's something we call that one being, please know where you're coming from. Don't you with your studies. Don't follow bad friends. If you're around bad people, just take it that oh now I'm here. No one is watching me. Let me just do whatever it is I want to do. Don't do that. Don't do that. Please don't do that. And my bonus point is this. Hold oh God. My bonus point is this. Stay with God. When my mom would tell me back then that happiness, good God, the road God, you'll be like, mm. but growing, right, and staying here the more, I'm seeing why she always say that. Good God. Don't be a Christian, a fire planted Christian in Nigeria, and then when you come here, um, it's like you talk to another leaf. Don't. Good God. Because at the end of the day, God is the one that will see you through. God is the one that will sustain you. God is the one that will make your path straight. God is the one that will help you even in the days and times that feels difficult or feels like, oh, um, life is not going as you planned. Please hold God. Please hold God. Okay? And if you turn to a rock path or and if you actually did it one way or the other, right, this is your chance to give your life to Christ, your chance to go back to God. His arms are open wide to receive. Okay? So these are like some realizations 
in my nine weeks here in the Philippines for those who were planning to come study. I mean, I have more lessons that I'll talk about on a long run, but just hold on to this one because it's important and it's going to help you if you're really planning to come study in the Philippines. Don't forget, number one, do your research. Number two, know what you're coming for. Number three is um, have a skill. Number four is don't forget where you're coming from. Bonus point I gave is stay with God, stay with Him. He's the only one you need in this part. He's the only one that will see you through. He's the only one that will sustain you. So I hope these tips were helpful. Um, let me know in the comment section if they were. Let me know what videos you want me to film for you guys. And yeah, thank you. I love you.